and servicemen, honorable speaker, so that we can assure the deputy president's safety, uh, assure the country of the deputy president's safety. Honorable speaker, when the Kenya Kwanza government took over, I am also informed, honorable speaker, our defense forces would occasionally allow senior government officers to use their aircraft at times on request. And ordinarily, government policy is when any senior government officer like the Deputy President or the Prime Cabinet Secretary intends to use a military aircraft because these aircraft are designated for operational uh, work by the military to request for use of a particular aircraft, whether it's a helicopter or a Dash 8 or a fixed wing aircraft, through the office of the head of public service, Felix Kosgei. Honorable Speaker, let me put it on record because I have checked those facts. The day that the Honorable Okello refers to on Madaraka Day, the office of the Deputy President never because I would not know why he decided to get late. Because either way, you could also choose, like the Honorable Speaker chose, to go and spend the night in Bungoma or in Kisumu and be near uh, the function, or uh, wake up early like many of us do, did, to travel. The same with the incident that the Honorable Jared Okello speaks to this Sunday in Akuru at the Akorino uh, Church. It is true, the Deputy President arrived over an hour uh, later than the president, the president was uh, magnanimous and courteous enough to be able to receive his deputy. And, Honorable Speaker, I can also confirm because I was to join you in Laikipia, we left Nairobi at exactly the same time with the deputy president at about 10.44 a.m. When his chopper was lifting from his current residence, uh, Honorable Speaker, we traveled together. There was a slight challenge with the weather, I can confirm, Honorable Speaker, around Mount Longonot. And we were able to maneuver through within a period that did not exceed five minutes. As to why the Deputy President chose to tell the country that he had, he had transport and weather challenges, Honorable Speaker, on the pulpit in church, again, I would not be able to be in a position to tell why the person serving in the office of a deputy president would choose to tell what is not true while standing at a pulpit in a church, Honorable Speaker. And since, Honorable Speaker, you have guided, we are not here to discuss the conduct of any person. I do not want to dwell into that. But to assure the country that both the president, the deputy president, the office of the prime cabinet secretary, from what the Minister for Defense has informed me, may, in writing, ask for use of military aircraft. And Honorable Speaker, the Defense Cabinet Secretary did inform me that for the last one year, the aircraft that were being used by the Deputy President, the Prime Cabinet Secretary's office, and other senior government officers occasioned an expenditure of half a billion shillings, 500 million shillings, to KDF. KDF has written to the various offices, and the office of the Deputy President has written back, declining to share in the costs of the wear and tear and fuel of these aircraft. And that is why the Kenya Defense Forces and the Ministry of Defense made a policy decision that should any officer want to use military aircraft, it must be on request. Since all these offices have resources appropriated to them for air, air travel, therefore, if you use a Kenya Defense aircraft for fuel, for wear and tear, you pay for it from the budget in your office. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, you should cry foul that they have not been allowed to use military aircraft only the President, as Commander-in-Chief, has unfettered access to use of military aircraft, but that aircraft that is designated from the Kenya police, that is under maintenance, and I must insist, that maintenance, Honorable Speaker, you've seen what has happened in the, our neighboring country, 
and our compatriots in Malawi. And may the Lord rest the soul of the uh, Vice President of Malawi and the people who perished in the air crash in the uh, internal peace on our speaker. We would not fathom that happening to any of the officers serving in our government. And you remember, Honorable Speaker, I'm also informed many of those aircrafts, including the ones used by the President,